I love it. And it is time to play ball. The Knights start off with the first serve. Ball handed over to Skinner. Texas resets. Phillips there, the layout by Shear. Ball out of bounds. And Molly Phillips, I think one thing, she was an um, honorable mention All-American last year, and came into the season and really had kind of a chip on her shoulder, right? Wanted, wants to be one of the better recognized or the more recognized right sides in the nation, and she certainly made that case for herself this season. Right side attack for the Knights. Wow. The block there, Wilson flexing. And keep in mind, Texas is an incredible blocking team. UCF has had some moments of brilliance on blocking, but it's all about tracking the hitter. Great job by Wilson to track that shoulder placement, track the location of the ball, and just steps right in front of the right side attack. So Chloe Shear has a hand on it. Swindle goes tight serve. Excuse me, set. The attack from the outside. Point Texas out of bounds. No touch. So Kele Akana, the junior libero from Hawaii, transfer from Nebraska, gets the first ace of the game. And tough serving team meets tough serving team. Texas is a very dominant serve and pass team. Not many aces against, and extremely good at the service line. Will take advantage and have great location when they make those make those serves. Great set. Schomer's tight there to Dylan, sticking with it. Armor comes from the right side, out. And I, I just have this moment in my head. I'm thinking Ava Armor right side. I'm also thinking Aaron Campbell playing right side against Florida. So that moment, it's going to take her a little bit to get into the match. She's going to find that rhythm, figure out how she's going to swing against those blocks. But what an incredible learning moment for the freshman Ava Armour. shomer has got choices, goes with Dylan off the tap from Swindle Point Knight. And that feels good for the senior who we just recognized. And that, that does feel like the X Factor, right? If the pass is there and they can run the middle and have all three options, then they're going to be in a really good spot. They just have to make sure that the pass can lend themselves to get to the ball to their two senior middles tonight. Swindle dumps it, gets the point. Shifty move by the freshman on the other end. We're talking to a member of the Texas staff today and talking about how offensive this young freshman setter is. Just coming in, making a statement for herself, and being that another offensive threat for this extremely good, efficient team. Shomers to Wilson, big swing. Point goes down through the block in the hands of Asia O'Neill. And just being that we talked about this before the warm-up, right? Or before the match. What does a warm-up need to look like against a team like Texas? Maybe the block is a little bit taller than what you've experienced throughout the season. It's all about making sure you get the hand contact on the ball, swinging high, making sure you can get the, the feel of what a high contact ball looks like. And Emily Wilson certainly did that earlier. O'Neill, Knights recover. Back row attack, Wilson, wow. the power. Too hot to handle there for Emma Holter. Love the back row attack option. Leaves, leaves Wilson one-on-one -on -one because of the pull from Dylan. You see that just last minute juke. Great setting choice by Schomers to pull that ball around. Ball stays up high for Halter. She'll set up her partner, Rinnis. And the ball will go back over to the Longhorn side. What I love about Winnis is she's just one of those players that's going to put the ball away, right? Like we talk about being kind of an L2. What does that what does that position need to look like? And she does a great job in that position, making sure she's making good contact when she's making the swing. Asia O'Neill with the bullet just over the tape line. Clark swinging away. Well, that that one's in. in. Holy moly. UCF's pit players came to play today. That block has not slowed them down at all. Just ripping that ball. That is incredibly, incredible shot. And of course, Lauren Clark here, the transfer from FGCU, showing she's come to play. Meanwhile, out of the pipe, holy smokes, Madison Skinner. And another All-American, incredible athlete. Just 
times that ball perfectly well. And what's so scary about her is how much she gets on top of the ball with her arm swing and her core. That's what makes her swing so powerful. Shomers to Wilson, laying out there, halter. A free ball over. They pointed at Shomers. Spindle, back row tack coming at you once again. Madison Skinner, two for two. And so far, the connection between Swindle and Skinner is what, what as a coaching staff, you want to see from a freshman setter, right? You have that cadence, you have that comfortability, you know where exactly where to put that ball, that she can rip it nice out of the back row. So love to see that connection there. Then the freshman setter doubles down with an ace, the second here for the visiting Longhorns. Jump out to an early four-point lead here in the first set. High ball, Clark won't jump and leave her feet. Getting in place there, the block there, Hansen. Berg marks thought she had an easy one. And I think everybody on the Texas side did too, because Swindle, you know, that's a free ball opportunity. But I love to see that Hansen just steps right in front of Bergmark. Just falling away from that ball a little bit. A really good block. And those are the points you don't want to give away if you're UCF, right? You just had a big block. It's all this momentum changing, and then that ball goes right into the net. You still want to be aggressive, but just go for it, you know? See how far over the net you can make it. See how close you can, you can get it to the end line. Nothing to lose at that service line. Carissa Barnes dribbling it out. The redshirt senior libero from Weather for Texas. On the opposite end, Clark attacks. Swindle pushing out to her girl. Skinner block is there. Point nights. And that's where a freshman setter like Swindle, those, that ball came out super clean out of her hands. She actually made the play. But what happened is she trapped her setter a little bit too much, put that ball a little bit too tight, and it died way too far inside. So just a little bit of a location struggle there, but I love the athleticism from Swindle. Caitlin Grimes delivering a difficult serve. Wilson power swing, the backup there by Shear. Shomers goes Hansen, the dump. Knights keep playing. Great coverage. Watch the dump. Wilson again. Swindle with a hand on it. Phillips coming through, placed at the net. There's got to be yeah, a lot of touches, right? Yeah, it's a lift, for sure. And Jared Elliott, they want to challenge this play, but as the ball comes out, I mean, it could be. Not going to challenge it. Not happy about it, though. Point UCF. So Caitlin Grimes, nicknamed Ninja, and she's got an angry serve. Now she's got an ace. Really, really getting comfortable at that service line is Caitlin Grimes. Kind of taking ownership of that backcourt has been her MO for the season, including being a really, really powerful server for the Knights. Another she great has serve. her second. The Ninja in real life black belt delivering a clinic from the service line. And it's all about stringing points together, right? As if you want to play against a team like Texas, again, number five in the country, you want to go up there and you want to be fearless. Just get after it. Another great location for that serve. She's there for the dig. Wilson stepping through for Great shot. Row. Oh, look at the hustle. Wow. Texas able to get it over. Shomars back to Wilson. The play at the net. Longhorns reset. Big swing by uh, Phillips through the block point. Phillips in the Longhorns. And again, that's where I think Phillips has really grown into her own. She's become that player that they can put the ball away and get the kill. But incredible defense from Texas to keep that rally going. Wilson just kind of at that last second. You look at this left hand, it slaps inside. Just keep it in front of you. That block's going straight down. So Emma Holter, the sophomore libero from Indianapolis at the service line. A lot of system work here oh, for great the Knights, shot. and they recover nicely. Great shot. Perfect shot in volleyball against a team like Texas, right? Huge, huge front line. You're seeing all six feet across those front three. So hitting off those high hands is a great way to neutralize that defense. Chloe Shearer, the senior libero now for the Knights. Swindle has choices. 
And this just a miscue there. Madison Skinner into the net. Set location looks good. Just tried to crunch a little bit. Maybe didn't realize how far off the net she was. So the Knights take their first lead here in the set. Trailing by four points moments ago. Ball up. Swindle gives it low and it goes right down. Asia O'Neill. And just a worker. Just an absolute worker. You know, she, the first time we've really called her name, Asia O'Neill, in this whole match, but that doesn't mean that she hasn't been effective and part of everything that's happening offensively, defensively. Love to see that she got her kill. Such an incredible volleyball player. Hannah back at the service line. Shomers goes Dylan middle and the yeah. block with O'Neill Swindle doubling up. Yeah, that'll happen. So she's one of the best blockers in the world, let alone in the country or in the Big 12. So that will happen. You just got to keep swinging. It's just incredible. Asia O'Neill earned the all-time Texas blocks leader status about a week ago. She's got 551 plus, plus, plus after today. Another great shot by Wilson, but look at this relentless pursuit from Texas. Skinner, free ball over. Shomers goes middle, Dylan. And that one, it slips up, Holzer, point UCF. Just great heads up play by Claudia Dillon. Well, it starts with Wilson getting the free ball, but the change in direction of the attack is what I think is so great about Claudia Dillon. She got blocked going into that left back. Now she wants, to, excuse me, she got blocked going into that right back. She's gonna go after that left back, even with the libero sitting there. Knights earn another freebie. Schomers, Dillon again. Oh, Akana there with the dig, it's out of bounds. But Pele sat underneath that ball, my goodness. Just got right under it. Look at how she dug up that ball, but so much power from Claudia Dillon. Too much for the defense. Aaron, my knees are cracking after seeing Okana <laughs> there. The pass here, Skinner lines up, elevates Ooh. and nobody can touch oh, her. Madison Skinner, we know why she leads the Big 12 in kills. Like, the, the block is there. I mean, if you saw it from our angle, she literally just went, like, over it. Just completely over the block. And, you know, Schomer is not the tallest player on the court, but has done a great job blocking the ball. But, wow, what a swing. And the hang time, Aaron. That was incredible. Schomer's Wilson, block goes down. Oh, O'Neal. And if you recognize the name, Look how high we talk about. I mean, it's just over, over <laughs> the block. So you're going to give that away. <laughs> With that O'Neill block, it's going to be a timeout and break here on the floor. It is the visiting Texas Longhorns. It gets over $80 here to get inside to see this big matchup between UCF and Texas. Oh, great play. Swim on the slide. Oh! O'Neill blocked Wilson in the Knights outworking Texas. Wow! Wow! Kudos to Shear who chased that ball all the way to Europe and back. And then Wilson for just being relentless and getting back in there and making that stuff block. Incredible volleyball. And then Wilson's got to back, go back and serve. So Wilson, one of the top servers in the Big 12. Swindle goes back row, and that has been so solid. The connection back to Madison Skinner. Well, and it's scary because there are so many different offenses on, there's so many different offensive options on Texas as we watch Chloe Shear just absolutely sprint. What is that 40 time? Are we tracking that? Because that's incredible. And then for Wilson to get back in, but it's so hard to play defense against Texas because you're thinking, oh, they're going to go to Asia O'Neill. They have a perfect pass. And then here comes Skinner out of the back row. Dylan delivers one right back at you. And we've got quite a volley going here. And again, mixing up her shots, right? Doesn't go to the same spot every time, doesn't have the same approach every time, is able to, to bring something different every time she's swinging on the ball. So oh, now on the that. right side, the block right at Clark and Hansen. And that's great communication on the front row for UCF. They are calling that out that, hey, the right side, there isn't a right side. So we have, they are, if they set that ball back, it's going to be a back row attack. If she's going forward, she's going to make that play. So great job by Hansen to read that. And Swindle, this Ella Swindle is a true freshman from Columbia. 
and she has found two quick ways to convert and get her team out of trouble. Yeah. Again, talking so much about her, her offensive prowess, and as a 5-1, Freshman, you have to be that. Or, excuse me. 6'3. Six, 6'3. Three. Six, three. <laughs> Running a 5'1. That's what I meant. Uh, she's not 5'1. <laughs> she is quite opposite of that. Uh, but Abby Schomer's making a great play. Not just trying to go for the easy middle, middle. The tendency of a setter just to do that, to find the, the deep spot on the court. Setter v. Setter. Swindle close to the net. The joust put down by Clark. Ooh. The pass over, through, and the point works. Not conventional, but Jenna Winnis takes advantage of the situation. Great job by Texas. Just playing great out of system. They're not out of system a lot, but the one thing they do is control chaos when it happens, right? It's very, very calm on their side when something doesn't go according to the game plan, and that's why they're just such a fantastic team. Carissa Barnes from the service line, laying out Wilson. Clark, welcome back to the contest. Oh, hey, Skinner and Bergmark had your number. I mean, it's tough. Not only is Madison Skinner 6'2", but look at this reach above the net. I mean, that's just, that's, a, look at this press. I mean, not if you're Texas, you're probably going to serve short or to Clark. Schomers gets it up to Clark. Pushed out of bounds too much. And it's crazy how quickly breakdowns in passing can make the match feel out of reach now, right? I mean, it's it's not, but you get that sense against a team like Texas. It's going to be really hard to score and battle back at this close to 25. Clark comes swinging, laying out on the other end, Longhorns, and the cover there. Halter to Skinner and can't be tracked down. And it's hard to play against Skinner, right? Because if the block is set, she's going to swing high hand. So as a defense, you want to go and be kind of outside of what your normal perimeter is. But if there's even... Texas, obviously the defending national champions, have beaten 10 top 25 teams this season. And of course, Wednesday night, Coach Elliott and his team clinched their seventh straight Big 12 Volleyball Championship. So they've got their bid. They're going to the postseason. They're defending their title. And here they want to rip away a closing sentiment against the Knights in their only Big 12 matchup. Skinner front row again. That shot we saw her try in warm-ups. Unable to keep it in play. Yeah, and I don't know if it's a 32, if it's like a, a play by design that's set inside, but it looks like that ball's almost set. It's dying a little bit too soon on Skinner. Especially when a player like that, where they have so much athletic ability, get it out to the pin. Let her use all of that frame to go up there and get that ball. Swindle outside Just again. Like Skinner, and look, she splits the defenders. And again, I mean, Ava Armour is 6'5". Six, six okay, so let's, let's take a moment to, to get kind of the, our bearings there. Big block in front of her still has just so much athleticism goes over it. That's why I'm saying just leave the ball up there a little bit for her. Let her leap to it and get her feet to the ball so she can make that good play. And O'Neal, right place, right time. The put down just at the free ball. Asia O'Neal, by the way, the daughter of six-time NBA All-Star Jermaine O'Neal. But she has made a name for herself here at Texas. The senior middle blocker, all-time blocks leader. And hitting there, the error and the antenna. And so now we're at set point. Emma Halter, sophomore libero from Indianapolis. It was a DS last year, powerful serve. Hansen lives another day for the Knights. And a much needed end of that, that kind of ugly run for UCF. Just a little bit of finally getting some good passes, not getting the sets you want. So it's kind of like what was so brilliant about UCF so early on in this set was that everything was working right. They had the good pass. There wasn't any doubt in the, in the scheme that they wanted to run. So getting back to that will be really critical. Chloe Shear into the net. And that's how the first set comes to a close. The Knights on an error in Texas.
This is a pickup to a transfer from A&M Corpus Christi for the Longhorns. Knight's gonna touch there at the net, so the point will go UCF. And Ava Armour needed that one, right? Had a few errors in that first set, just needed something to work out, got the touch off the block, keep using all of that height to get the swing. Now, now can be part of that conversation at the net. Another service error for the Knights. Shiri overcompensating for that first set error at the end. Going a little bit too long this time. And the halter. Bullet, Shomers tracks it down. Lining up there, Wilson. Halter. Up front row to Skinner. Oh, what Finding the corner. Grimes can't get to it. So if you're a volleyball player, aspiring volleyball player, coach, just the technique and the technicality of that swing, just put that on repeat. Watch everything that happens in that. She goes up there, keeps that chest nice and high, keeps that arm across the body for that line shot. Per perfect technique. Wow, what a play on defense. My goodness. Relentlessness here, and Dylan sticking with it, gets it through the block this time. But Texas is so good that it like doesn't surprise them. They're all like, oh my gosh. It's just like, oh yeah, that's what we do. But great job by Dylan to make the play, beat that block. Really, really fun contest we're seeing at the net between Dylan and O'Neill. O'Neill, Armour gets under it for the dig. Wilson great has a look set. at it and gets it. Great set by Shomers. Look at this hip turn. See how that she turns that hip at the last second? That's what's going to get that ball in that location. Emily Wilson's been chomping at the bit to get those swings back going, so love to see she, put, she puts that ball down the line. The net here getting in the way of the Longhorns, and I want to go ahead and say that's going to count for armor. No, not an ace, but a point for the Knights. Eva Armour, also a true freshman here. So oh, great five. And another little miscue here oh. off the hands of Molly Phillips. I thought that was a great set by Swindle. Maybe the Phillips went a little bit too soon, didn't see where the set was before making the approach, but maybe the expectation is that ball is a little bit tired to the net. I thought that was actually a great set of choice by Swindle. There it is. Swindle gives it back, and there's the point. So it's tempo. The difference between those two where it caught Phillips a little bit off was this tempo out of the hands with Swindle. That, that difference in just how quickly it comes out of her hands was what Swindle was, excuse me, what Phillips was looking for on that first attack and was able to, to make the difference there and make the swing. So Kayle Akana, the junior libero from Hawaii, back at the service line. Shomers has options. Wilson's the target. Wendell to Skinner, oh. Dunzo! <laughs> it's just unreal. Like, I'm sorry, I, I'm like stars in my eyes, and I'm trying to be professional, but that's incredible. Like, that's incredible. You know that, right? Like, that's an Olympian. That's, that's somebody that wins gold medal in the Olympics, that athleticism, that power, all of that technique, and it's just a beautiful swing in one of the most vulnerable spots on the court. There's no defense designed to play there. And she attacks it like it's, like it's nothing. And so rotation here off the service error from the Longhorns. And Emily Wilson, one of the best surfers in the Big 12, will pick things up. Wilson from Estero, Florida, a transfer from San Diego. And just off her mark. You keeping tallies today, Aaron? No, but I'm also like, like that one doesn't make me get gray hair, right? Yeah. Because it's, it's going after a spot. There's an intention behind that. There is. They're, you're going line to line. You're trying to make it as hard as the passer. You're making her make that decision. It's almost like you're, you accept those a little bit. It's the in the nets and the blatantly outs that drive you nuts. Ooh, right off the tip, Skinner making things a little difficult. Ooh. And Dylan says, hold my beverage. And great pull from Wilson out of the back row. Just delays Asia O'Neill to get out to the pin. Leaves Dylan one on one. and. You don't want to do that. She is lethal out there on that right side on that slide. Right side feed. Big swing there by O'Neill. 
Watch your dump. Shomers picks it up. Clark swinging. Out of bounds. A great defensive stance by Texas, right? It has to deal with the scramble, doesn't get panicked, just gets to their base, makes good movement, gets all the way out to the pin. It's just quiet, right? It's, it's so quiet. O'Neal with a bullet. Shomers feeds the right side. Little Walter Skilter. Shomers back to Wilson. Oh, great spot. Changes oh. up the speed. And squaring up, swinging and delivering to the open court. There is Wentis. You look back at Emily Wilson, and Ava Armour. I mean, they're just smiling. Like, how do you make that play? And it's just this really, really good awareness of the last two steps of your approach, right? If that ball is hanging high, it's all about being patient. Those last two steps are what's so important about getting that leaping ability, which Texas does so well. Just very, very patient on the attack. In the middle activation here, getting the ball to Hansen. And Schomers and Hansen are getting a lot better at the net of reading, of not going like one on, like to the same spot every time, right? They're mixing it up, going pin to pin, trying to find kind of those seams within the block, make both blockers move. The seams will happen if you make that play, make that call. So a late set there to win this, and it goes through the block. The junior from Frisco, Texas, with a couple of points here in the second set. Ellis Swindle, the freshman setter, who's had the duty in the starting role all year long. It's been a crash course in running a 5-1 off a national championship team. As a freshman. As a freshman. I mean, so that on its own is just incredible. The ability to come in and be that player, but then also to be able to, to add in just great setting choice and great setting calls. And yeah, maybe some, some off targets, but overall the brilliance of it is there. Winnis elevating, and the Knights kind of have a little bit of cement in their feet. And it's just a great play. Really, Texas is really starting to go after the pin, and you know, if you wanted to score some points, you'd, you'd think you'd want to do it with Skinner in the back row, but here she comes again. She's back in the front row. Tough rotation at the front line for Texas. Oh, Shomers tries to save it. The call here. The back row block. Or they're calling over the net. Okay. So, Schomers was trying to make the set. The Texas attacker made the play. Jared Elliott's not happy about it. So basically, if the setter's making a setting action and the ball's on her side of the plane of the net, then she can make that play. But if it's over the net, then technically Texas can make that play. I don't know if, it, if that's a challengeable, if that's a challengeable call. Jared Elliott certainly not happy about that call. It's saying it's two calls now that he's upset with. First was the lift in the first set. And now this one at the net. And, you know, the camera angle could could have an impact on kind of what the position of that is. Wow, look at that hustle. But it's a great way for UCF to just come in and say, hey, all right, let the ball never lies. We're just going to go after it, make the play. The frustration still for Elliott on the other side. Shear will go at it again, the senior libero. Skinner. Wow, what a Wilson. shot. My goodness. And no one can get to the ball fast enough. Out of system on the tee of the 10-foot line. And just incredible athleticism. That's just good ball control. Understanding what you have to do to use your hand to manipulate the angle of the ball. Such an incredible athlete. Great job by UCF to, to be sound and place a defense around it, though. Wilson, Halter keeps the ball high. Skinner gets it low, changes up the speed. Schomer's middle to Dillon. Swindle goes middle herself. We won't get out of the way for Wilson. Block comes down. No one ready for it. O'Neal. Don't want to make it easy for, easy for Asia O'Neal. Great defense by UCF, but... 
you got to be able to go away from one of the best blockers in the country. Try, you know, you're not going to go off her hands, try to go around her, use her as a tool, go completely off the, the inside hand, something to make that work. The third service error here for the Longhorns. 12 all, the second set's been tick for tack. Armor raising the net, the net there and elevating oh. what a layout by Grimes, but a kill, Skinner. Great read by Grimes. There's just so much power on that ball. You can't make the play with one hand. You have to be able to kind of take some of the heat off, but I love the read by Grimes. You know, we've talked a lot about how UCF's defense has come a long way throughout the course of the season, and it's mostly due to what Grimes has done, that grittiness for sitting back there and playing good defense. Chalmers to Ava Armour, back row attack. Joust at the net, Longhorns keep the ball up. Skinner, tough one. Watches oh, it go out in. And wow. the Knights <laughs> celebrate this one. I mean, two players from Texas watched it. They thought that ball was going out. Great job by Wilson. That ball is definitely in. I mean, Wilson maybe may have uh, had an influence on calling that ball a little bit, but great heads up play. Just playing good defense. And now she gets to serve. And an ace. How about that? Emily Wilson in the Knights will look to try and build a cushion. She is the leader in the conference in serves for a reason, right? She just has this ability to put that ball so high off the floor, or excuse me, so deep into the court, and then it just drops. It's hard for players to play defense, right? You can move forward to make a play with the ball, but it's moving backward that you have to, you have to think about it so much more, and that's what she does. She just really trips up some of the best passers in the country. You look at the East leaders in the conference. Ava Armour there in the top five as well. And Skinner as well. So high risk, high reward. The Knights with their fifth service error here this evening or afternoon. It's a matinee game here in Orlando, Florida. And you're looking at Madison Skinner, the junior outside hitter from Katy, Texas. A transfer from Kentucky who leads the conference and kills per set. Joust at the net. Schomer's unafraid with O'Neal. The push out to Clark. And catches the Longhorns on their heels. And needed that from Clark, right? Needed that kind of confidence building from her on the pin. And so Coach Mauer's crew has a one point lead. We have a timeout on the floor. We'll take a break too. High five in it up. They lead by one here in the second set. Aaron Campbell alongside Despina Barton. The finale here at home, senior night. And Wenis will get it off the block. Wenis just needed that one too, right? Like really just had a few of the sets, maybe not be in the location she wanted or wasn't making the right read, but is so powerful on the outside. 6-1 outside from Frisco, Texas, just ripping that ball. O'Neal from the service line. Schomers tries to dump. On their end. Oh, great the set. push out to Clark on the floor there, Skinner. Witness, the block comes oh. back at the Longhorns. Ball alive and the put down by Hansen. And great heads up play by Texas, but Hansen, one of the things that you want out of a fifth year senior is somebody that just understands net presence, right? When to stay, when to make the read, when to back off, and that's Hanson. That's probably one of her best skills, just being able to read what's happening on the defense or on the offense of the other side. Swindle, Winnis over the block, ever so gently. And that's just a total read. Warren Clark is bailing in, sees the tip, tries to go behind the setter. Winnis changes the direction at the last second to basically go where Lauren Clark just came from. And that's why you always tell your attackers, look at the, what the block's doing. Look at what the defense is doing before you take a swing. Because things can change how you swing at the ball. And that one counts as an ace for the Longhorns.
Coach Elliott on his feet in his 23rd season here for the Longhorns. Two national championships, 2012 and 2022. He's known as one of the best recruiters in the nation. Clark got a little too excited there. And maybe expecting hands to be there, but again, you have to check what the block's doing. You have to see what the block's doing in front of you. The block was late. You actually had the swing you wanted, but you overthought it, right? That's the, that's the trouble with big blocks, is they make you think too much. Clark trying to rewind that in her mind as well. And Hansen, a little extra explainer. And how so much as part of who they are, it's, it's not just that this is their identity, there's so much to them. And that's just, that's both sides of the net, right? All of these players, all of these women have incredible, incredible skill sets and are more than just volleyball. This is just part of who they are, which is incredible. I think early on, too, might have heard that you, know, you can only be one dimensional, right? But that yeah. is not the case. You don't want to be, right? Like, think about the footwork you get from playing soccer or basketball and how that translates here. The jumping ability and track and field, the, the speed to which you need to move laterally, left and right, in some of these other athletics and sports. And it's just, the more you can add and train, the better off you'll be. Oh. This cue here between Schomers and Wilson in Texas. And it's tough because now Lauren Clark's kind of airing herself out. Schomers is now thinking, well, can I, can I set the ball to her? And then it trips her up too. So it's, I know Lauren Clark has it. It's just maybe some, some miscue on the volleyball contact. But want to make sure you can run with every option you have. And again, another set that's behind the attacker. Just some miscommunication between Schomers and her front three. And the Longhorns build a lead here. Set number two and the timeout called again. Coach Maurer in UCF. So out of the timeout, we get to see Ella Swindle. Once again, the freshman setter for the Longhorns continue to do work from the service line. Feet up front row there from Skinner. Clark on the opposite end. That one feels good. Great defensive stance by Texas. Skinner coming in and making the contact, but a great great transition win for UCF, something they really, really needed on the right side. So Caitlin oh, Grimes. After it. The assailant. The block there from Hansen, giving it back to Skinner. And Hansen got burned a few times in that first set on that play, using that Bic as a true option when Swindle has some trouble. So great job for Hansen. Again, her best skill is sitting in there and reading what's happening on defense or on offense. She gets the block out of that one. Calling for Halter sets up witness the block again. Hansen the flex. Great serve by Grimes sets up an out of system play becomes one dimensional. Then Hansen can go out there and make the block. That's why volleyball is such a Yes, from the service line. Already has two aces here tonight. Oh, campfire. Wow, and Minnes again able to place the ball over that block. But that is a, a defendable ball, and UCF just stopped, right? Oh, you, 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 you know, Spider-Man out pointing at each other. You've got to be able to make that play, especially when a player like Winnis kind of gives you that ball, right? Yes, it's a great heads-up play. She understood that the defense was, was all back on their heels, but you have to be able to convert that play. Wilson back in the front row. Oh, look at that dig location. Alter's been that nice secondary passer. Tracked down by Barnes. Swindle to Skinner. Wow, laying out Grimes. Oh. Off the fingertips and a lucky roll. The Knights get the point off the hand of Emily Wilson. And Emily Wilson has been sitting in that zone to make that huge cross-court shot from Skinner. This photographer's in the way of, a, of this guy making this sweat. He's got a, she's got a way down here. We've got some sweat on the court. These girls are playing, or women are playing tough. Alright, game 
game on. Chloe Shear now, senior from Marietta, California. Service line error. Goodness, those have been compounding for her here. Yeah. She does it. Yeah. Uncharacteristic. It's so frustrating. You're like, oh, I thought I got it though. Like I thought I touched it right. Alter, tough serve over from the Longhorn. Shomers tracks it down. Same motion here. Swindle to Skinner. And goodness gracious, no one's been able to stop her here today. And it's tough because defensively, Grimes and Shear are in the correct spot. They are reading the, the perimeter correctly. It's just that Skinner has the ability to hit over the block into those zones where the defense isn't set up with power. Texas giving away a point there sure. at, at set point. Went right past her nose that she made the right call. So set point still. Ava Armour, the six foot five freshman. Pass into the net. Ball gets up by Swindle. Freebie comes over. Shomers has choices. Dylan through the block. Stellar showing here on senior night. Armor over. Oh, great get. Skinner front row attack. Where's the ball? It's in. And that goes ahead and seals set number two. The Longhorn seeds them too. And the Knights and Caitlin Grimes start with a surface error for UCF now. That is at seven. Seven surface errors for UCF as Halter returns the favor. <laughs> so the Texas bench getting excited after that first service error from Grimes and then quickly quiets down from the Service error from Emma Halter. Is that what Taylor Swift would call comma? <laughs> oh, geez, geez, Louise. Just like three, three gray hairs sprung from my head. Just kills you. You want to get something going, you know. You can't give away points. Louis Shear, more frustrated with her serving game, but has done a phenomenal job playing good defense. So. So Kayleigh Akana, can you break the cycle? She does. Wilson, back to action. Point nice. Wilson leading in the passing game and in the kills game for UCF. And was pretty quiet in that second set. Give her the ball early in this one. She really goes after that block. This is a good matchup for her against Asia O'Neal on that, that middle. She's back in the front row. <laughs> if you needed any introduction, Madison Skinner sending that one to the rafters. About 90 miles an hour coming off her hand, about 110 as it hits off the defender sheer and into the stands. So much power. Great job by Shear to just try to get something, some kind of touch on it. So the junior from Katy, Texas now will serve it up. Really just as stiff as her strike. Tracking the ball that was Holter laying out. It doesn't always have to be pretty. It can just be in. And all against a triple block, you know. Ava Armour just really getting a lesson early. I love that. I love that that's the option there, even against a triple block from Texas. Wilson, a little softball over. Swindle's got choices. She's going back row. Skinner slicing and dicing. And the bench is alive and well for Texas right now. This is a, a very loud gym if you are a UCF Knight, but the Texas bench is rivalry. is is really, really coming alive here. Ooh, I think we got some instigators in the stands. It. Jamming Knights make it fun. Swindle has options. She dumps it with the left. Wow, a little ambidextrous action. And the key to UCF staying in these matches or in these sets so far has been to come out really with a stance, right? With a posture. Seeing a little bit of a breakdown there for the Knights, but that's what Texas does. That's exactly what they do to teams to frustrate them. 
So Texas with a service error here off the hands of Asia O'Neill. And Claudia Dillon, the senior that's been absolutely stellar here. A jump serve it up and no. oh, nearly gets robbed from an ace. Schomers, Hansen connects oh off the gosh, slide. Okay. Ball stays high. Longhorns getting ready to attack. Clark. Akana keeps the ball high. Pushed out. The slam there from Winnis. Knights track it. Will she get it back? Flying from outer space. Skinner. She's got for 15 kills here tonight. And it's a great defensive stance from UCF, but it's just a clinic for Texas. We go here, we get the free ball. We go here, we get the free ball. We go here, I mean, every option in that front row or in this Texas offense got a hand on that play. But again, good defense by UCF to hang in there. Clark swinging away. And a whistle against the Longhorns. Phillips in the net, so good point for UCF. Good swing, too, from Lauren Clark. First ball kill situation for UCF. Definitely want to make sure you play good defense around this ball. This is a good rotation if you're UCF. Swindle, feed on the right side. Shear keeps the ball up to her setter. Clark laying out Swindle. Big swing from the Longhorns. And that was the third attempt for Jenna Winnis, and this one actually resulting in a point. And Skinner comes into the front row again. So for UCF, this is a really critical first ball kill situation, right? You want to make sure you limit the amount of time Skinner can or will swing on the ball. And Phillips just surprises you, right? Everybody in that front line for Texas knows what to do. And it's just the communication between her and her middle and Bergmark, right? They're talking. They're having that conversation. That ball's a free ball pass. Hey, I've got that. That's in my zone. I'm coming in. I'm making that play. So much conversation happening. A great swing by Ava Armour on the first ball kill. Height squad not backing down. Another look at Ava Armour's swing. People in the stands are dying to touch this ball. I love it so much. Everybody is clamoring to get a touch on this, this match. I mean, what a historic match for UCF and Texas playing together the one time in Big 12 history they'll ever face each other. It's been a great match so far. And though Texas took the first two sets, they were very, very close. The first one 25-20, the second 25-22. It's been a tug of war here on this Saturday edition of Big 12 Volleyball. And how about another ace for the Longhorns? And it's tough. UCF, we know kind of where their pass goes, they go, right? So there's got to be a concerted effort into making sure there's a lot of grit. Back in action here in the venue. Knights trail by four. Armour gets the first sweep. Swindle, kicking it out to Skinner, block there. And the whistle on point goes UCF as O'Neill has a little chagrin. Aaron Mauer's happy on that one too because there were, could have been another double contact in that rally, but is happy to get that play. Ball has to be coming out of the hand, the hands very clean. There have been a, a few plays where the up official has let them play, which I always enjoy. Swindle O'Neill, power play. Asia O'Neill back in the conversation. Aaron Campbell alongside Despina Barton. You're watching Big 12 Volleyball. Saturday afternoon, a finale here in Orlando. Coach Mauer's squad closing out their Big 12 calendar, at least on the home slate. They still got a traveling trip to Iowa State in Kansas. Meanwhile, Texas on the other end will go home and host Texas Tech for their finale. And the Longhorns have, ever, have already secured their seventh straight Big 12 Volleyball Championship. The Knights wanted to play some extra volleyball here in Orlando. Swindle to O'Neal just off her mark. 
But that was scary, Aaron. Yeah, it's such a great setup by Emily Wilson on the outside to force that ball out of bounds. I mean, Asia O'Neill thought she had that line. Drop that left shoulder, right? You've got to keep that one nice and high if you want to make that line shot. But, oh, that ball might have been out. Good play. Longhorns keep playing. Skinner sends it over. Laying out was Chloe Shear and no one there to clean it up. That was a hard fought point for the Longhorns. Who's excited about that play is Eric Sullivan, assistant coach, excuse me, associate head coach, technical coordinator. So much energy on the bench for Texas. I mean, just the volleyball knowledge on the bench from the coaching staff is incredible. Grimes stays with the ball. Shomers to Wilson. Good hands there. Emma Halter. Swindle has options. And again, out of the pipe. Wilson and the Knights try to do something with it. Swindle's going to dump it. You felt it there. Armor lays out. Swindle outside. Winnis. Delivering some power. Exclamation point there on that series. And it's just relentless defense, right? How frustrating it is as a hitter as you cream a ball like that. And then you're trying to make something else work. Okay, I have to go away from power. And then UCF playing defense and just getting in there, hanging in there, making the play. And of course, it's going to come off the hands of Emily Wilson. She's done a phenomenal job for this team on the outside. There on the slide. Look too easy. Swindle and O'Neill teaming up. One of the things Jenny Maurer was so excited about, despite not being able to convert that play, was seeing Ava Armour, her 6'5 freshman, when she was recruiting her, just be able to play defense and lay out. There's no fear. There's no, well, I'm too tall for that. I don't play defense. It's, it's just this really good comfortability in that backcourt. With the layout, ball out of bounds. Knights want to touch, they get it. Good job by Clark coming off the net, didn't even land and was calling the touch on that ball. No argument from Jared Elliott on that one. So hanging in there is UCF, streaming some points together. Winnis, the pass and back row from Wilson, she'll get it right back. Laying out Holter. And it only continues. Clark outside, but it is touched. And it's dig location, right? When the ball is where Shomers can set the ball, she can give Clark the tempo she likes, right? She can give it to her a little faster. Not the tallest player on the court, so you want to be able to give her some tempo to work from. And when the pass is there, she can do it. Middle feed. Nearly a pancake on the other side. Point goes down for Bella Bergmark, who we haven't called her name since the first set. Texas really staying away, I mean, have stayed relatively away from their pins, really pushing the ball, forcing the ball on the outsides, making sure they get those contacts. But it's been a great job by the service line of UCF to kind of force that as well. Mark, swing. Right side attack there by Winnis. Armor through the block and a successful recipe here for the Knights. Love this back row, Bick, with you have Armor and you have Wilson in the back row. Two back row options to bail you out if you need it. Armor now in the front row. Swindle, Winnis. Ah, and in the net. What'd you see there, Aaron? Yeah, in the net. And it's, it's Ava Armour, like, I want to block Skinner so bad. Gets the touch, but uh, loses it foundationally a little bit. So Jenna Winnis, the six foot one junior outside from Frisco, Texas, serving it up. Shomers goes middle to Hanson. I swear, it's only going one direction, and that's straight down. And there's a difference between her being in front of that ball and the side of, some of the misconnections we've seen with her and Shomers. It's like an inch or two different. She needs to be in front of the ball. She needs to be led with that set. But just when they have that right, when that chemistry is right, it is just beautiful to watch. Winnis up to Skinner, block there. 
Walmart. Go back at it. Wilson, Skinner there with the pass. It's a back, she'll load up. Ball stays high, can be tracked. Knights do that. Skinner placing Grimes laying right. out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Halter wow. saving the play on the Halter. other end. The liberos and DS is doing some dirty Incredible. work. The Knights went out the point. And that just made this whole place come alive. Bronze and black and gold. Because they're seeing some amazing defense all over the court right now. Great rally from both sides. Halter just absolutely laying her body out to make that play last longer. And give credit to Grimes who just absolutely got gritty and dug that ball. We need a camera just in the back row, Aaron. Oh I want to see every move, every save, every dig. And to see it from that angle, you can actually understand the speed at which that ball's coming, right? When you when you see it from our perspective, it doesn't have the same kind of feel. But when you're behind and you're making that read, it's all about how... I'm sorry, that ball came right at me. I wasn't ready for it. But how, how quickly that ball comes off the hands and that top spin is the thing that makes it so tricky. So getting that perspective would be so cool. All right, so producers and UCF broadcast team back yeah. in the booth. That's a request for next season. <laughs> oh, everybody take a note of Abby Hansen. The senior delivery a critical point here on her way out of the rotation. And it's, the, it's just the deviation from the one. It's like the change again in where the ball is set along the net. Force Asia O'Neill to move. And when you do that, you're going to create some seams. So Annika Sokol making her first appearance in this game. An overserve. Actually went off the shoe of the, the line judge there in the corner. So very close to the mark I imagine she was trying to hit. I'm trying to get Shear to not serve. So Sokol coming in as a serving specialist there. The 5'9 junior libero now coming in to do her due diligence from the service line. Middle oh. attack again. Knight shifting. Off the block, Wilson just relentless. We talked about this place coming alive. I was just received a notification from Eric Lopez, who, if you've been watching all season, Notified me today that the attendance is 1,787. Record crowd breaking the FGCU NCAA record of 1,774. So we told you this place is rocking. We weren't kidding. Scanner. Oh, Chloe Back Shear. here Protect for the maker. tea party. Just, I mean, the speed that Shear just had to get her hands up. To, to try to make some kind of play on that ball. That ball is coming off so fast. I just want to make sure Skinner's on my like dodgeball team. You know, when she goes into retirement 10 years from now or something, <laughs> I want her on my team. So one point game, set number three. It's a must win for UCF to keep playing here on this Saturday. Oh, Wilson hey. overserves. On, <laughs> a lot of self-inflicted wounds here. Both sides. <laughs> Says something came in her sweat in her eye. <laughs> so now Asia O'Neill, the six foot three senior from South Lake, Texas, at the service line. Clean serve. Great pass. At the net, duck comes down right on time. Abby Schomers. And it's a great pass by Clark. I mean, Schomers has done it kind of trickily in other situations, but I love that it's done on the perfect pass, right? Expecting that the ball's gonna go to the pins or run a perfect uh, a tempo set with Hanson. Winnis, block is there. Longhorns reset her up, pushing over with the left. Armor out of the back row, the put down. The fans don't like that, but Jenna Winnis Winning out. Big block. Ava Arma almost covered herself there. 
trying to make the play, but I mean, Texas has one of the best blocks in the country for a reason. They're just so good at making the read. Hanson off the slide, off the block point. Nice. And even with that set being a little bit low, it's that volleyball IQ to make the adjustment and swing super fast, right? That ball's gonna die. You don't have the full arm swing, but in order to make the play continue, you've just gotta get up there and take the rip. And that's what you want, again, out of a senior, somebody that leads this team, making those midpoint adjustments. And what a little snafu here. Swindle goes up for the set, watches the ball drop on the other side, and Clark, too, everybody stunted. Ball setter, ball hitter, right? You have to be able to track. It's the number five team in the nation. And there is a serious look of determination on somebody like Abby Hansen, who's smiling, having fun. There is a laser focus right now in number nine. So Jenna Winnis from Frisco, Texas. The junior outside gets us going after the timeout. Clark waits for it. Setting up, ready to swing. And man, it's been money for Madison Skinner. And against a team like this, if you're going to tip a roll shot, it has to be effective. It has to be well thought out because with Skinner in the front row, the kill percentage is basically 90%, right? Make them be do something really tricky, not just give the ball to one of the best players in the country. Armour batted away and out of bounds, so the Knights will get the ball back here. Hang on by the hair on their chinny chin chins. And Grimes has had a great stance at the service line. Two service aces here tonight. It's had, she's had some tricky ones. Swindle back oh, to boy. her woman. <laughs> Skinner. Oh God. It's just like, it's unfair, you know? It's just unfair. No, but the closer. Also, right, but also makes the perfect pass too, right? A lot of times people think, well, I'm just gonna serve the player that's in the front row that's in the passing system. She takes ownership. There's a lot of pride in that to go back there and make that play and make that pass. Match point here on the line. Wilson will have a swing at it. Swindle going back to Skinner. The block comes back at him. And that was the determination you were talking about, Aaron. And Ava Armour up there, not letting anything go, making the play, growing in confidence in that specific skill set, and will continue to grow as the season continues and as she gets that spring under her belt. All right, and here Coach Maurer is going to stick with Chloe Shear at the service line. That one does get over. Swindle, one choice, one option. Opposite end for Wilson. Winna Swindle, last touch Skinner. Ava Armour, off, off the, the hands. Let's go. And Texas has had a few chances to kill it. And Jared Elliott says, I've seen enough. On the line, Chloe Shear at the service line for UCF. Trying to hang on. Swindle. Little off speed, Grimes keeps the ball up and that one does it, Aaron Campbell, and you guessed it, off the hands of Madison Skinner, the Big 12 conference leader and kills per set. She did her work and then some. It is the